High School Football 2008. See the schedules, look at the rosters, and view our picks at news-starextra.com forward slash football 08. I would think primarily that what we feel our real strong assets are is obviously we have an excellent airport that's got a lot of developed land around it that can be developed that has to be aviation related. But with our close affiliation and the number of workers we have here that go to Tinker Field every day, the fact that we've got Gordon Cooper that's got an aviation training program, tech program, and the fact that our proximity to Oklahoma City I think leaves that airport in an excellent position to attract those kind of jobs. Uh, so we, we want to concentrate and focus on that. It makes no sense whatsoever that we've got a number of companies in town that have machinists, for CNC operators, for example. It makes no sense whatsoever to try to attract or bring in a company uh, that's going to compete for those same workers because all we're going to do is just you know jack up the wage scales and just rob from one another. So again, it, this needs to be uh, companies that make sense for the community ones that are uh, environmentally friendly, uh, ones that have a workforce that we can fulfill, and uh, ones that bring uh, high level, or excuse me, high paying jobs. You know, we don't need more minimum wage jobs. We need uh, jobs that will allow people, instead of maybe commuting to Oklahoma City now for a job, they're able to stay here. Uh, we also have people that are already commuting from pretty good distances to the, to the uh, north, south, and east. And likewise, we continue to provide good jobs for those folks that will continue to come here. Hopefully, they'll move here if we have that opportunity. And then, you know, just can't emphasize enough that, you know, we are so blessed in having such a strong uh, existing industrial base. And we need to make sure that those people are taken care of. And workforce is one of their number one issues. Uh, having a quality workforce, well-trained, ready to go. You see ads in the paper that, that every day that people are looking for help. And so we have to continue to focus on workforce development. And that's multifaceted, but it, it is very important. Another thing we need to really work on is rail service. We have, and, and that's been obviously in the news lately, but we have six existing industries that are heavily dependent upon rail. We have at least two more that would use rail if the service was more dependable. And they had some access, you know, going to the east instead of just, you know, to Oklahoma City. Right now, we're in a very vulnerable position being on the end of a one-way one way route, in and out from here to Oklahoma City. The river continues to threaten that, that roadbed uh, all the time. Two years ago, we experienced uh, a 60 day outage as well as another 30 day outage that had major impacts on the existing companies, in particular TDK and uh, uh, TDK, uh, ExxonMobil, and uh, uh, Shawnee Milling for sure. Uh, we heard stories, you know, where those companies, once that they knew that they were going to have to be without rail service, they were quickly trying to uh, transfer over into semi-trucks, so they were having rail cars spotted in the Oklahoma City rail yard. They were transloading off of those rail cars onto trucks and bringing it over here. In particular, we talked to TDK and uh, ExxonMobil, and they were very, very close to the thing where they just physically couldn't keep up in bringing the raw material feedstocks into their mills. and. Uh, could have, if it had lasted any longer, they would have had to go on to cut, cut shifts and that type of thing in order to keep up. So, rail is critically important, and uh, and we're going. That's one thing the SEDF is going to do is we're going to do an impact study as to the impact of loss of that rail. And I think not only it, it uh, will be very telling because the number of employees we have, the spinoff businesses that go with that, those wages that are at risk, uh, because if you take Shawnee Milling as an example, if they're shipping in as much corn and stuff as they are to go into their feed that they're selling, uh, if they have to turn around and ship that same amount of volume by rail, or excuse me, by truck, uh, the cost per ton is going to go up significantly and just make them uncompetitive in so many markets. So rail is a huge component that we need to make sure. Uh, Shawnee was founded on rail, and uh, we need to make sure that we continue to have good rail service going into the next century, too. It certainly is, it's just a hot topic in that kind of now is the time, you know, that the, that uh, 
I think the opportunities are there to really make an impact on rail. And uh, the SCDF and the rail committee, which is headed up by Bill Ford, has been, uh, we've been actively working since I think our first meeting we held was the first week of January, and we've held meetings and more meetings and trying to look for solutions for our rail issues. Well, like I said, workforce development. I think that's that's a huge one. Uh, having quality workers uh, that uh, can fill the slots that they have, uh, and all of that relates to continuing to keep business developing. You know, we have a number of companies that these companies, I'll take like Exxon Mobil as an example. They've had opportunities to bring in another production line because they've had the space, and they've been able to bring in another production line into their their plant. And they make a case study for that, and that case study deals with, you know, they've got the labor, they got the space, their utility costs, and all that stuff have to be in line, and they compete against other uh, other uh, operating units within their own company. We need to make sure that Shawnee continues to be an attractive place to bring those new investments, because most of our job growth is going to be from our existing industries. And so we need to make sure that we continue to have an environment that will attract uh, existing companies to continue to expand their workforce here locally.